This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 12 verses 39 to 48. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. You know that if the house owner had known what night the burglar was coming, he wouldn't have stayed out late and left the place unlocked. So, don't you be slovenly and careless. Just when you don't expect him, the son of man will show up. Peter said, "Master, are you telling the story just for us, or is it for everyone?" The master said, "Let me ask you, who is the dependable manager, full of common sense?" that the master puts in charge of his staff to feed them well and on time he is a blessed man if when the master shows up he's doing his job but if he says to himself the master is certainly taking his time begins maltreating the servants and maids throws parties for his friends and gets drunk the master will walk in when he least expects it give him the thrashing of his life and put him back in the kitchen peeling potatoes The servant who knows what his master wants and ignores it or insolently does whatever he pleases will be thoroughly thrashed but if he does a poor job through ignorance you get off with a slap on the hand great gifts mean great responsibilities greater gifts greater responsibilities Reflections on the Holy Gospel according to St Luke chapter 12 verses 39 to 48 The parable on the watchful waiting for the kingdom are continued for our reflection Today's parable describes the unexpected arrival of the thief Jesus exhorts You also must be ready for the son of man is coming at an hour you do not expect The disciples await the Lord and his kingdom. The gospel clarifies this perspective with the parable of the steward who look after the household in the absence of the master. In the first scene, the steward faithfully carries out his task and receives compensation. In the second scene, the steward abuses his authority and mistreats the servants. This situation is also frequent in our times. So much of injustice, violence and cruelty are done because of the false idea that we are masters of the lives of others. We have only one master who likes to be called not master but father. We are all servants, sinners and children. He is the one father. Pope Francis explains this parable in one of his homilies that our opportunity to be stewards of God's household does not give us any additional authority over the lives of our other members of the family. Instead, it entrusts us with the additional responsibility to make our common home more just and livable, says Pope Francis. When Luke was writing his gospel, The expectation of an immediate return of Jesus was gradually fading. The early Christians believed that Jesus would return during their lifetime. But as time passed and there was no sign of Jesus, Christians were tempted to become less vigilant and began to give up. Through this passage, the evangelist addresses this attitude of lethargy and warns the faithful to behave. Jesus draws a picture of the wise and the unwise steward. A trusted steward ran his master's house for him and administered his estate. The foolish steward said, "I have plenty of time to put things right before the master comes." There is nothing so fatal as to feel that we have plenty of time. Jesus said, We must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night comes when no one can work. Gospel of John chapter 9 verse 4. William Barclay says, One of the most dangerous days in a man's life is when he discovers 
the word tomorrow god has endowed us with the privilege of being his children this is a gratuitous gift and not something we could demand from god being the children of god he has entrusted us with the care of our fellow brethren especially those who struggle in their lives our lack of empathy leaving the poor in their misery and refusing to stand for them and care for them is a sin of omission